Hey guys, this is Jonathan Gardner. Welcome back to some more basic mathematics by Sergey Lang. Um, this chapter, this section, covers equations in three unknowns. Um, we've, we've, so hopefully we've uh, almost, uh, I guess, mastered the technique of solving equations with two unknowns in the last section. In this equation, we're going to look at three unknowns, and it should set a pattern for you to understand how you can solve four, five, six unknowns if you really wanted to. And again, we're not going to get very deep into the theory, and we're not going to abstract this out. We're going to do that in linear algebra when we deal with matrices and things like that. But we are going to look at a technique that you can use to solve these equations, even though you're still new or rusty at algebra. Okay, so let's take a look at this system of equations. This is how this system of equations looks. Uh, let's write down these three equations. So we have 3x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to 1. Then we have minus x plus y plus 2z is equal to 2. And then we have x minus 3y, I wrote plus minus, excuse me, and then plus z is equal to minus 1. Okay, first thing to note is as you're doing algebra problems that are getting increasingly complicated, you want to make sure your handwriting is neat and clear. Everything lines up so you can detect errors really quickly. Okay, so we're trying to solve for x, y, and z. Uh, the pattern's the same. We're just going to try to eliminate one of these variables, um, and we'll get an equation with two variables and two unknowns, and then we'll have to get another equation with two variables and two unknowns. So we'll have to uh, eliminate one of the variables twice using different equations. And it's okay, let's just go through it. It's pretty straightforward. Let's add the second and third equations together. So let's call this one 1, let's call this 2, and let's call this 3. So if we're going to add 2 plus 3 together, we're going to get minus x plus x is 0x, minus 3y plus y is plus minus 2y, and then 2z's and 1z's is 3z's, and then 2 minus 1 is just 1. Okay, so there's one equation. So I'll just write that a little more neatly. Minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1. We're going to now go back and eliminate x from the first two equations. But we, we can't just add these together. We have to actually multiply the second equation by 3. So we're going to take 1, and we're going to add 3 times the second equation. Okay. So what that's going to look like. We have 3x and then minus 3x. That's obviously going to be 0x. Then we have a 2y. And remember, we're multiplying the second equation by 3. So plus 3y. And then we have 4z and then plus 6z. And finally, we have 1 plus 6. Okay, Add that all up. These two terms cancel. We have 5y. Then we have 10z equals 7. Okay, So now we have two equations and two unknowns, and this reduces to the problem that we had before. So um, now what we can do... Um, so he takes, we multiply the second equation, this one by, let's call this one uh, a. In the book he calls it 2, so we're, we're very confused in notation right now. So he says, let's take this equation that we got here. Let's multiply that by 5. So we take 5 a's, and then what do we do with it? And we multiply this one, b, by 3. Uh, yeah, so he's taking 5 times 10. No, this doesn't seem right. 3 by 2. Let's take 2 b's. So we're taking 5 times 2 is negative 10, and 2 times 5 is 10. So that's going to give us negative 10y, so negative 2 times 5, and then 5 times 2, plus 10y, which is going to give you 0y. We have 3 times 5 is 15, and then 10 times 2 is 20, and then 5, 1 times 5 is 5, and 7 times 2 is 14. So these two terms cancel. We get 15z plus 20z, so 35z. Let's write 35z is equal to 19. And we can move the 35 downstairs on the other side. 19 35 So 19 is prime, so it doesn't have any divisors. And 35 is 7 times 5. OK, so we have z is equal to 19 35 All right, so let's put the z up here in this equation. So we get minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1, or in other words, let's keep the z on this side, let's move the 1 over, and let's move the 2y over, and let's go ahead and plug it in now. So 3 times 19 35 so 3 times 19 35 minus 1 equals 2y, 
So running out of room, let's go up here. Three times 19 is a fantastic, three times 20 would be 60. So subtract three, that would be 57. 30 fifths minus 35 30 fifths. That's where the one came from. So the one became 35 30 fifths. And then that's going to be equal to 2y. 57 minus 35, thankfully we're getting smaller here. I don't like big numbers. I hope you don't like them either. 42 over 35. 42 is 6 times 7, or 2 times 21. 35 is 5 times 7, so we can factor out a 7 from both the top and the bottom. This is 6 fifths. So we get 6 fifths, and we're going to move the 2 downstairs, so we get 6 tenths is equal to y. So now we have a solution for y, 6 tenths. Let me verify the book. No, the book says 11 30 fifths, because I did something wrong. 57 minus 35 is not 42, it's 22. I'm such an idiot. Hopefully you guys caught that error as I made it. Um, huh, I'm running out of room. Let's go up here. 35 minus, 57 minus 35 is 22 35ths equals 2y. The 2 goes downstairs. It's going to cancel the 11, the 22, so you're going to get 11 35ths. So the 2 would go downstairs. And then you have 2 times 11 on the top, you have a 2 on the bottom, so you have 11 35ths left over. So y is 11 35ths. Positive 11 35ths. And the book agrees with that. Okay, finally, let's plug that into one of these original equations. And I think he wants to use this equation. Yeah. Um, this third equation. So we get x minus 3y plus z is equal to 1. Let's move everything but the x to the right side. So this is going to be 1 plus 3y minus z. Remember that when you move terms across the equation, the equal sign, it flip sign, okay? So x is equal to 1 plus 3 times what's y? 11 35ths minus z, which is, uh, where was z? Uh, 19 35ths. So everything's in 35ths. 35 35ths 35 plus 33 35ths minus 19 35ths. And I would break out a calculator right now, but I don't have one on me, so let's just do it in my head. 68 35ths minus 19 35ths. So 19 is almost 20. You just need to have another one. So this would, if it was 20, it would be 48, but it's not 20. So we need to have 49 35ths. 49, um, I think it's prime, actually. Yeah, I think 49 is prime. X is minus 21 35ths. So I did something terribly wrong. What did I do wrong? x equals minus 1. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Minus 1. This is supposed to be minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1. This is minus 35. So this isn't 68. This is 2. Minus 2. Plus 19. Minus 2, minus 19 is minus 21. Minus 21 35ths. Is that the right one? Yes, that's the right answer. x is minus 21 35ths. All right. So we have those three solutions. And I want to test it out. I'm going to use a different color to test it out. Let's use a blue. Um, well, it, is it really worth it? Yeah, let's grab, let's grab the first equation. So we have 3 times minus 21 35ths plus 2 times 11 35ths and then plus 4 times 19 35ths and that has to equal 1, okay? So we have minus 63 35ths plus 22 35ths plus, oh gosh, 4 times 19, that'd be the same as 4 times 20 minus 4. So that's a 80, 76. Equals 1. So 76 minus 63 is 13, plus 22 is 35. And that, sure enough, checks out. Okay, so the solutions are x equals minus 21 35ths, y is equal to 11 35ths, and z is equal to 19 35ths. That's the solution, okay? Uh, there's not much else to add here. So this technique is, is messy, as you can see that here I made a mess, and this is the first time I've solved this on paper. Um, you know, I just read the book before, and you can kind of see some techniques that helps you to back up and fix errors. Let's see if I can remember where I made some errors. I made an error here, because I said 57 minus 35 was 42, right? And so, Rather than going back and starting the whole thing process over, because it'll take a long time if you do that, you should always go back and see if you can find where you made the mistake. Like here, 
um, the minus 1. So I, what I did is I looked at this equation and I checked, it. does that actually equal that equation? I saw, nope, there's a minus 1 there. And so I, I took that minus 1 and I transferred it down because I was careful and I can see that it's minus 35 plus 33, so that's minus 2 35ths minus 19 35ths, which is minus 21 35ths, and that's the solution for x, okay? So that's a, that's a technique that, um, you know, rather than going back to the beginning and doing it all over again, but, but try to find your error and then propagate the fix through your already existing solution. See if you can do that. Um, I don't have much hints on the exercises. Um, he does not go into... Um, he does not go into like solving for the general general case of three equations and three unknowns. It is quite complicated. It can be done though, and when you get to linear algebra, you'll see how to formulate the solution, so you don't have to memorize it. Uh, but in in problems nine through twelve, so one through eight is pretty straightforward. You might find some of them easy, some of them hard, just based on how much work it takes to eliminate variables. But problems nine through twelve. Um, he says you will find it easiest to clear denominators before solving. What that means is if you multiply the entire equation by a number, um, like let's take number 9, that second equation. It's 2 thirds x minus 1 third y plus z equals 2. If you multiply that equation by 3, then what you'll get is 2x minus 1y plus 3z equals 6. And so you, instead of dealing with fractions, which fractions are sometimes difficult to deal with, you can deal with whole numbers the entire time. So that's a technique that he uses. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, and I uh, hope you have fun solving these problems. And, um, you know, uh, rather than seeing the problems as something you have to do, think of this as something you get to do, something you get to enjoy, some quiet time where you get to think about math and just kind of see the beauty of how math all kind of comes together. And if you get frustrated because you're not able to get the right answers, then use this as an opportunity to see if you can find where you're making mistakes and if you can correct those mistakes without going too far. Thanks for your time. Take care and bye-bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This video is part of my series on Sergey Lang's basic mathematics. You can click here to watch the rest of the videos in the playlist. You can click here to learn more about me. And you can click here to support my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.